Welcome to Reddit Topics, where we make videos from comments on Ask Reddit. Plus, I may tell a joke every now and then. So, if you enjoy the content, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Let's get into the stories. In this video, we're going to be reading comments from the Reddit post, men or women, that have had sex with a man with an abnormally large or abnormally small Johnson. What was the experience like? Abnormally large fellow dislodged my IUD, was temporarily crippled by the pain, and had to go to the doctors to make sure it hadn't perforated my uterus. Wasn't exactly what I describe as fun. Above average can be absolutely incredible, especially in certain positions. That is until your cervix gets hit. Had a couple of hookups with a guy whose Johnson was about the size of my index finger. We only did BJs, but holy smokes, it was like someone trying to make me throw up by sticking their finger down my throat. A co-worker of mine was talking about sleeping with a guy who was almost the size of a Comcast television remote for visual reference. This is appropriate because Comcast is definitely a big prick. Anyway, she said she tentatively touched it like Indiana Jones with the Golden Idol and jiggled it about experimentally. It made a thup 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 sound like a water balloon and it was so visually striking and distinctive that she wouldn't have been surprised if it had talked or sang a song. In the end, she incredulously asked him what he was planning on doing with that and had frankly told him she didn't think that was going to happen. I lost my virginity to a 9-ish incher. He was the epitome of having a big Johnson doesn't make you good in bed. Didn't try to turn me on, didn't do anything but jackhammer until he finished. Couldn't even find my clit the one time he ever tried. All I really remember about the sex is the overwhelming, displeasurable pain of having that punch my cervix with his Johnson. He used his size as a reason to not really try in bed. He never gave me an opportunity to warm up and even though I thoroughly enjoy super, super rough sex, he just thought ramming it into me over and over was the way to go. Lack of warm up and him just thrusting hard like no tomorrow left me sore and angry. Not the good kind of sore either. My cervix hated me when I was with him. I was with a guy who wasn't very well endowed. We were fooling around and he asked for a hand job. I went to put my hand around and found that my hand was larger than his fully erect Johnson. Similar to many others, couldn't feel it when he put it in either. I was with a dude who had a Johnson like a large deodorant can. One night we were doing the dance of the beast with two backs and he must have bashed my cervix one time too many and I began to faint. I realized what was happening and I tried to make it to the bathroom, not sure why. I thought I'd been pretty speedy but turns out he had to shepherd me along the 5 meter corridor because I was all over the place, literally bouncing off the walls. I didn't even know he'd followed me. My roommate came out of her room to find me completely naked, passed out on the toilet with my panicking boyfriend trying to bring me around at about 1am. I eventually came round and kept frantically asking him to bring me my slip. He didn't understand. Bring me my slip. My slip. I was frantically trying to cover my bits and bobs with my hands to maintain some level of dignity. I wanted my nighty and had never called it my slip in all my days. I was so confused. 
My shortest X was actually the one with the largest Johnson. I don't know an exact size, but he had a very wide girth and was still decently long. We would have to use the vibrator on me first because it was thinner in order to stretch me out enough that he would fit without hurting me. At the time, I thought it was really good sex, but now I'm with the guy I know I'm going to spend my life with and turns out the big Johnson wasn't as good as I thought. Now boyfriend is still decently long as well, so I'm a happy girl. My husband was small. It never mattered. It was great and made BJ's much easier. He passed years back. I began dating another guy and he was long and decently thick. I could hardly walk. He has to be careful for a long time because it was painful. I got used to it. He wasn't as attentive as my husband, so the sex wasn't as good overall. BJ's were exhausting and I gagged a lot, even taking precautions with my hand. Overall, I enjoyed both extremes. I love them and that's what mattered most. My boyfriend used to have a huge Johnson. BJ's were fun, but after a while it became a problem because we couldn't do certain positions, like cowgirl, etc. And sometimes, if he thrusted in a bad angle, he would impale my cervix, and I would be in pain. Basically, the novelty wore off, and I wish he was a bit smaller. One of my long-term partners, and to be respectful, I won't elaborate, was on the smaller side. I am bad at estimating lengths, but just a bit smaller than average. We couldn't do every position because he didn't have the length. We just worked around it. I couldn't orgasm through penetration, but it still felt good. It worked as long as he ate Miss Johnson a lot. After he decided he didn't want to eat Miss Johnson anymore, it went downhill a bit. I also had a friend with benefits with a very large Johnson. Only saw him once or twice. I also didn't orgasm with him, but it felt really, really good. Things could be a lot more acrobatic because of the length. He felt like he shouldn't have to eat Miss Johnson because he had a big Johnson. And that is an absolutely inexcusable sin. I wouldn't see him anymore after that. Large has its pros and cons. You have to be 150% up for it to remain naturally wet enough. Pray he doesn't have good stamina because you're going to have a difficult time keeping lubrication and muscle exertion otherwise. If you're not totally in the mood, it's not going to happen. You cannot take a large one if you're not totally aroused. BJ's were the bane of my life. I used to be an avid giver, but now I hate them. You can forget about any hope of anal. Be prepared to be sore the next day and wince when you sit. Small also has its pros and cons. I couldn't feel much, but what he lacked in size, he made up for in enthusiasm and willingness. When he did hit a good spot, I was so into it that the size didn't matter. Dude was loving every second, and so I did too. BJ's are easy compared, so he thinks I'm a sex goddess. He can't hit my favorite spot, and I do really miss that, but there is a reason I'm with this guy and not the other one. Dude had a literal cone-shaped Johnson, too big as the base and too small at the tip. The experience looking back was the worst. I was young and naive, like trying to have sex with an upside down ice cream cone. Been with both. Large was like being repeatedly punched because the dude had no idea what he was doing. I'm pretty sure childbirth was less traumatic on my cervix. I am not a size queen. Small was actually pretty good. He had the plus of being relatively girthy and he knew how to work with what he had. It wasn't deep penetration, but that didn't detract from anything. The angle he got was great for more clitoral stimulation, which was great. The large one never learned that a majority of the population do not like getting harpooned like a dolphin within a few seconds. Like, go slow and use lube if you have to. Lube isn't just for anal. I can take a decent amount, but when they hit my cervix, oh, I have to tap out for a bit. I'm a big woman, so the small one I felt grinding against my clit didn't feel penetration, but he was persistent and lasted a lot longer than the bigger guys. Also, he gave me more tension and pulled out the toys and all kinds of fun stuff, whereas the bigger guys were all about instant gratification and skipped foreplay. In the end, size doesn't matter to me. 
had sex with a big Johnson guy. It was simultaneously the most boring and painful sex of my life. He wasn't a big dude, so the blood it took to power this thing left him dizzy. He pretty much just lay there while I tried to figure out how to fit this terrifying doom cannon into my body. I gave up after about 10 minutes. Then he cried. Also had sex with a small Johnson guy. I could only feel in certain positions and he was very sensitive about his performance so he didn't take suggestions well. We didn't last long. Had a Tinder hookup with a guy. He was talking big game about his Johnson. About how he was going to work me so hard I couldn't walk etc. Over Snapchat so I was so eager to meet up. When I get there he whips it out and I swear he had to have 3 inches max. I must have made the worst face because he just started apologizing about the size while I'm trying to reassure him it's fine. The condom was almost too big for him. In all honesty, it was the worst sex I ever had. I didn't feel anything. He only lasted a minute or two and it just left me horny and angry. I felt kind of bad because I obviously pissed off when I left and he immediately unmatched me the moment I stepped out of the apartment. When I was ranting about it to my friends, one of them pointed out that although it was a bad situation for me, think of how embarrassed he was. Still, just don't talk mad games and disappoint like that. He didn't even go down on me. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. I'll see you on the next story.